one of the ways in which a country can promote exports is through trade neutrality now for you to understand trade neutrality let me use this example let's say it costs south africa 600 rand to make a pair of shoes and it costs zimbabwe 1000 rand to make the same type of shoe now it would make sense for people to come to south africa from zimbabwe and then they buy they spend 600 rand on buying uh, the shoe and let's say 200 rand on the transport uh, now you might be wondering 200 rand for coming to zimbabwe and back no let's say the person you wouldn't come and buy one pair of shoe you come and buy um, a lot of them so let's say the transport cost everything uh, will be 200 rand per pair okay so all in all it will cost someone 800 rand to come and buy here and go and sell the shoe for 1000 and make 200 rand profit now one of the things that we are leaving out is what zimbabwe could do to try and protect their local uh, industries so what zimbabwe can do to uh, protect their local industries is they can charge a tariff at the border so you see now it's going to cost someone 800 to come and buy uh, the the shoe for 600 and then the 200 is for uh, the transport and then at the border they can charge them 200 rand tariff uh, for them to bring in the shoes because Zimbabwe would do that to try and protect local production So now if the border if at the border they charge this 200 now it means it will cost someone 1,000 rand to buy uh, a pair of shoes from South Africa and sell in Zimbabwe So it won't make sense. Uh, it's a waste of time because you can't come to South Africa uh, to buy something for 600 use 200 on transport and then they charge you 200 tariff at the border so what um, South Africa can do to promote exports to still be able to pro to export shoes to Zimbabwe well South Africa can then still say okay fine it costs 200 rand to buy our shoes right the South African government can then subsidize the production of shoes in here in South Africa so what it means is it's going to just cost uh, the producer what 200 rands to to make the shoe right and then this 200 rand it's coming from the government so it will reduce the price of the shoes to only 200 you know what a subsidy does so the south african government subsidizes the production of shoes so it will only cost the manufacturer 400 let's say so the manufacturer can now afford to sell shoes for 400 so then someone will come from Zimbabwe, buy the shoe for 400, spend 200 on transport, get to the border and pay 200 rand tariff. So the total uh, cost for someone to come from Zimbabwe and buy the shoe for 400, spend uh, 200 and then pay 200 at the border is 800. So it will be worth it because that person will go to Zimbabwe and sell the shoe for 1000 and make 200 rand profit so people will still come from zimbabwe to buy in south africa even if there is um a tariff that is being charged at the border so what has happened here what has happened is the subsidy of 200 rand that the south african government has paid has neutralized the tariff that zimbabwe is charging at the border so we call that trade neutrality it means that uh, the, 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 the tariff has been neutralized. That's where the term is coming from. It's called trade neutrality, neutralizing the tariff. So to neutralize the tariff, uh, the local government has to subsidize. But how much subsidy? They pay a subsidy that is equal to the tariff. That is what we mean by trade neutrality. If you don't understand, comment down below. I'm going to answer your questions. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribe to the channel. God bless.